life now. I was like, this is working. That's why I contacted you. I was like, dude, like this is working. This is crazy. Like I've never had like five green days straight together. I want to like, you know, upgrade and watch the accelerator course. And when I watched the accelerator course, it just like made so much sense. It was so much easier because to me, time was money. I didn't want to be, you know, you guys have so many videos out there, but I didn't want to be spending like two months watching all the videos. That was seven hours. I was like, you know, I could, if I learned that in seven hours and not spend that much time on uh, watching the rest of the videos, that's going to help me get better faster and make money faster. And that's exactly what happened. So Eamon, what you're saying is this truly was like the make or break moment for you. Like once, once you saw the jumpstart accelerator, like that was it for you, dude. Like you condensed like 800 videos in like what, eight hours, dude. Like that was it, right? Yeah. I finished it like in uh, two, three days. And I was like, holy shit, like, this is so easy. This is so simple. There is no complication because I, I was trading like a large cast for a while and I had to have like spy cues, watch CNBC, <laughs> you know, all this shit on. I was like, it was going crazy here. I don't have to do anything. It's so simple. Just like follow the lines and you know, I know exactly what I'm going to get in and when I'm going to get out. It was so simple. That's why like, that's why I love MIC because they make it so simple. There's no complication. There's no Fibonacci and moving averages. It's just VWAP and lines and that's it. That's what I loved about it. Being bro, simple. The, the, I love that, man. Cause the, cause the funniest part, bro, is like, obviously look, I'm one of the mentors at MIC. If I tell a random guy on the street, dude, trading really is simple. See, so he's going to, he's going to be a little bit like, is it, you know, I don't know, dude, obviously you're trying to promote the business. I'm like, dude, hear it from the members, bro. Seriously. How simple is process once you get it, bro? Seriously, and trusting the lines. Tosh, my wife was skeptic about this because like she was like very <laughs> skeptic about like, you know, trading small cash. She was like, oh, these are shitty companies. I'm like, exactly, they're shitty companies. Like, but you could short them and you make so much money. And so, you know, it feels so much better when you're shorting like shitty companies, it feels better. So she, she was very skeptic. She, she was like, oh, I don't know about this. It's so scary. You know, she was always like terrified of shorting. And, you know, she had seen like all these huge runs. Uh, but when I showed it to her, I actually like she watched the accelerator course as well with me and she watched it alone as well. And now, you know, she's starting to get into it. She understands it and she was, she, now she trusts me, you know, she's like, okay, you know, these guys are legit. You know, the whole thing is actually working. Yeah. yeah like, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on, dude, I, I'm sure you know who on is and he got in yes. with, he got on the um, IG split screen with Val the other day and he was like, dude, my wife is practically my tab partner these days. Like she's cutting me off at a certain time. She's telling me what to do. She wants me to keep that money. I'm like, I'm like, that's exactly. the process, bro. It's very simple. You trade a certain hour of the day. You do what your process entails that you back tested that you learned in the accelerator course. And then bro, it's it, like you leave at a certain time. And if you rinse and repeat that every day, look at your results, man. Seriously. Absolutely. I, mean, I mean, I have a full-time business. I, you know, I run, I still run my business on the side Fantastic. and you know, I work from home. So, you know, everything's done online. So it gives me that flexibility. You know, if I don't have anything, I'm trading, I'm watching the market and you know, I, it's, it's possible. Like I can, you know, and I've been telling about you guys to every other, there were a couple of members, I live in Dubai, there are a couple of other members that I met in Dubai and I tried to explain to them, you know, cause they didn't understand. I, I looked at their charts and they were like, you know, shorting into weakness, we met up, you know, I showed them like, listen, this is how you have to do it. You gotta trust your lines. I see a lot of people, they're not trusting their lines and they're afraid of losing. When, you know, they're afraid of like scaling into lines and that's what would separate, um, you know, the traders, you have to trust your lines and trust your stop loss and respect it and not get greedy. And, and then you're going to make it. If you trust your lines and respect your stop losses, you'll make it for sure. Dude, I, I say all the time, man, I say, if you need two things to be a professional day trader, man, is number one, the knowledge that we teach. Like you said, it's all in the accelerator course. But second, dude, this game requires such amount of trust. If you came from all those backgrounds where you're like, dude, I was in this chat, I was buying breakouts, I was getting dumped on like all the sheep. I, I couldn't fish for myself, right? Like I was just looking for stock picks. It's very hard when you come in and we're like, guys, seriously, this is the line. You trust it or you don't. And the guys that are still, you know, um, a little bit either too trigger happy, you know, before the line, which is FOMO, or they can't trust the line and they don't even get in. I'm like, bro, it's, it's trust, man. You can learn technical analysis and the correct way to do this in, in eight hours, dude. And then you watch this a couple times. And obviously it's going to take a little longer than eight hours to implement, 
but the strategies are there and but the trust is what you got to learn like you just said man and now dude and now your wife's trusting you <laughs> no absolutely and here's the thing something else that helped me a lot was bow's commentary throughout the day and picking their brains you guys have so much resources available to people i still like get on calls i've gotten on calls with aloha multiple times it was last week you know even though i've been consistent I still get on calls with him because I still want to like, you know, bounce some ideas. Uh, you know, there is no stop in learning just because I've been consistent for two, three months. That doesn't mean that I have to stop learning. So I want to like continue just, you know, get better every day and, you know, and bow's commentary throughout the day and looking at his charts and the lines and the way that he was using and, you know, asking questions, where are your entries? Where are you going to stop out all these things and reviewing the moderator's charts has helped me so much. And what's amazing about MIC is that you have so many different mods, uh, moderators with different styles. And if you pick and choose and learn different things from different people and you combine them together, yeah. it's, it's just gold, it's golden. So Eamon, really quick, man, before I let you go, cause I could keep, dude, we could talk about this for 10 hours, man. I'm so excited for your success, man. And Thank we're you. so lucky to have you dude, seriously. But I wanted to just, give a quick insight to the members who maybe haven't heard of you yet. And maybe they just joined today. Like, what is your style, bro? Like in a nutshell, like what do you focus on daily that works for you? I work on day one runners on the back side of the moon. i make sure, you know, they're below VVAP and it's completely broken. And I wait for them to pop to the resistance line and I short them. Dude, that I like, I like the VVAP to be also, declining like it's also like dying as well not not really flat those are the ones that are that i have a lot of conviction and that's where i really size it and those are my favorites low hanging fruit is another one one of my favorites but um if the stocks that have faded the previous days we're not going to get really good low hanging fruits but like you know probably igc if it closes strong we're going to get a good low hanging fruits on it tomorrow so it really depends on how it closes those are another one of my favorites. And if I get a death candle, I'll take it all day. Dude, now you're speaking my real language. <laughs> you know me, man. <laughs> I'm like, did someone say death candle or backside, dude? Like, don't get me started. <laughs> exactly. Well, bro, I thank you so much for coming on, man. We are so thank lucky you, to have man. you, dude. I appreciate I, it. I, I'm just, look, man, if anything, at the end of the day, bro, I'm just so happy that MIC strategies work for you, man. And they're working for others. And that's what it's about, man. And if this affords you any more time to be with your wife or to vote towards your business because you're less stressed financially, dude, that's why we created MIC literally. So absolutely. And what I love about it, like, you know, there's no alerts, nobody's alerting. What you guys teach helps people to become self-sufficient. There's been so many times that Bao and I have had the same exact entries. Why? Because the teaching is right. Everybody without any alerts know exactly where to get in and where to get out. And that's what makes MIC so good. Well, because dude, again, at the end of the day, right, you're not playing, you know, some guru's agenda and you're not playing an alert. You're the chart will tell you if you should be in or not literally. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, there's almost only one way to trade and it's based on these lines, man. So Dude, I, I'm telling you, we're coming out to Dubai one day, man. I got to see. Absolutely, you. man. <laughs> Dinner's on me. If you guys, anytime, any, 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 any member, you come here, I'll show you guys around and we'll do some live trading. Bro, what's the name of the clothing over there that I'm obsessed with? Those long, like robes and stuff. Uh, Kenduros. Yes. Yeah, dude, we're putting on one of those and we're hitting the town, man. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Anytime, my man. Amen. I love it, dude. B blessings to you, brother. Uh, thank you so much for helping the members. And thank I you guys. Thank you guys for putting this website together and, you know, helping so many of us, uh, you know, make money basically and do what we do. Thank you guys. Dude. See you, buddy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take man. care. Have a good one. See you, bud. Bye bye. Dude, how sick is that, man? That is, uh, man, I just want to take a second, guys, to show you what is possible, man. It's literally just showing up, 
putting in the work. I mean, you heard it right there. There's really only one way to trade and it is based on lines. The chart will tell you if you are trading the right way or the wrong way. And we teach the right way at MIC based on our proprietary trading strategies that are based on these lines. So again, congrats to Eamon. I love it. He's here to help the members guys. So, uh, you know, if you have any questions of his journey, obviously you can now hit him up. I would say don't bombard him too much in the first day. He's going to be like the hot chick right now. He's going to be like IGC frontside, but dude, give him some time. And uh, I love it, man. So welcome to the team. We're so proud to have you. And we are growing our list of moderators every single day of the guys that learn our strategies, put in the work and want to help people, man. At the end of the day, MIC is built to help people. That is all we created MIC for. So next guys, what I want to do is I'm going to introduce two really quick things um, that we have going on right now. And then I'm actually going to bring on our tab manager. So the second guy I'm going to bring on is my man, Woody, that we do every single week. And we will talk about the tab program. But first things first, if you guys have been living under a rock, which I'm sure you, some of you maybe have, some of you not, we have a live trading event coming Monday, dude. I know we've been saying this for like a month now, but the day is almost finally here. It's going to be Monday. This is literally going to be a live trading event where Bao screen shares his screen. It's going to be like a once in a lifetime like opportunity, guys. We only did this one other time, and that was in Philly in an in-person boot camp. But for our two-year anniversary, we thought that we had to do this for you guys. We were like, what can we do different? You know, obviously with the pandemic, we are not meeting in person. So right now we are going to get you guys an opportunity to learn any way possible and keep people safe in the process. Cause dude, we're not going to put our members at risk of this pandemic. So we're doing it virtually. So if you're just hearing about this today, guys, non-members and monthly members only have to pay $97. You get August 17th. It's going to be live trading and it's going to be a whole day of structured, um, presentations by a lot of our moderators, man. So it's going to be really fun. You guys are going to literally see pre-market trading with James, you know, how to reduce FOMO with Austin, uh, you know, Joe applying the MIC process across, you know, big caps and small caps and basically any, and even options, you know, anything that that relates to. Um, and then exclusively on the 18th, I need to be very clear is the 17th is for monthly non-members and annual members. The 17th and 18th lifetimes get a second day where we, where Bao will screen share and we will teach the process. So I just want you guys to know what you're getting. Number two, if you guys also have not heard, we have a jumpstart accelerator course. Uh, the previous guy that I just brought in, brought on Eamon, a lot of his success that he said was attributed to this accelerator course, guys, what this is, this is a eight, seven to eight hour course that is designed no matter how good you are trading, no matter how long you've been trading, it is everything that we have ever taught. It is everything ever mentioned. It is everything that's pertinent to towards cutting your learning curve down. So by the end of it, you will confidently be able to place your first trade within the seven or eight hour time uh, frame in which we created this, this, you know, this video. So this course, so guys, you got to understand, it takes one weekend to get through it. So if you've been trading for four years and you're still treading water and having a lot of trouble getting consistent or profitable, bro, spend one weekend, watch it. I'm not saying you're going to be Alex in one weekend, but I am saying that you're going to start understanding how to trade the correct way. So if you have any questions about either of the two pricing, uh, just text me at 213-458-5997 and we will get you signed up, upgraded, started. I'll get you the course, whatever you need. Right now, I had a discussion with Alex and Bao before this webinar, and I said, guys, you know, what do you think? Should we give people a last minute opportunity before this live event to have a chance to upgrade to annual or lifetime? We are doing that. There are specific bundles, packages, and major discounts right now that end right before the event. Uh, so if you guys want to reach out to me for that, here's my number. I'll just keep that right there. But let me... Um, say today, you know, guys, welcome. I, I, we have a lot of new members, man. I'm always so excited to introduce you guys to our wonderful club, to our wonderful community. So today we're going to talk about the MIC website, the video library, our proprietary trading strategies, how to start trading our Slack platform, and also how to contact us. But right now I'm going to bring on the dude. Where is he? Oh, Woody, hold on, buddy. I see you. Don't worry about these guys. These are just PMs. So if you hear these What's in the background, up? I will get to those later. What's up, Woody? 
How are you doing, sir? How you doing, man? Good, good. It looks like you cost me again, man. IGC finally dropped. <laughs> oh, God, dude, these webinars are costing all of us money, man. <laughs> it, oh, except I'm sitting here just going, now, if I just trade in, Tosh goes five more minutes. But it was like, nope, nope, hand, my hands went under my legs, and I wasn't going to do that. How is it that. the – Dude, how is it that you and I lose money every week on Wednesday due to opportunity costs? And Bow's freaking killing it, man. Bow's making a fortune through live trading. I know he loves losing these webinars because he knows when something's going to die. So he's like, which one? Which one? Dude, so, I'm telling you. It's a, so, but I didn't touch it. You know, like I said, I didn't want to suck on the batteries as my tab and I have been doing. So <laughs> Yeah, as Joe would say, suck start a shotgun or something. So. You know, yeah. guys, this this is Woody. This is Paul Nelson. He is our tab manager for, um, you know, getting a partner in crime in an MIC. So, you know, yeah. what is a tab program? We put this together based on the fact that trading is a very lonely career and you it doesn't have to be, man. So we want you guys to do what the, the structure that Bao and Alex have done for years. They have traded together for years. They have kept each other accountable for years and they have not only kept each other safe, but helped each other grow in the process. So without Without further ado, you know, Woody, tell us all about it, man. I, I mean, you know, we're the TAB program is a trading accountability buddy. I mean, we also got tags, trading accountability groups. We don't use the other word anymore, but we're all about matching you up with someone that is as close as possible to your style of trading. Um, and we're, we do this all the time. So, you know, hit me up if you're a shy trader, you don't want anyone else to know or want multiple tabs i understand that's all good or you can go over to if you show them real quick tosh the uh the tab channel and say hey i, I need a, a tab partner and we'll, we'll 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 get in touch with you and you know it's not just me there's a bunch of other people that have stepped up at mic and helps with this program that makes this program uh, so it's just not me alone i mean i'm very fortunate to have like i mean this week is nick ladies you know, she's really helping out with the matches and it's it's not just one person we all enjoy this and you know i'm sort of at a stage in life where i enjoy the story of the journey you know i, I mean you know last week we matched up like three uh, you know a three tab team and a six tab team and, and the, the the conversations they were telling me i'm just dying to just like I'm like a, a preset confessional hearing everything from all sorts of angles. <laughs> it's but, fun seeing people's progress, man. It really is. And like, what's yeah. working for them? Like, and, and it really tests me because they'll be little ask questions that I sort of forgot about or I'm getting lazy. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh crap, that's a good question. So it, it's, it's, you know, it's good if you're a beginning trader. It's great. Actually, if you're a, a, a older trader. It is good because it keeps you entertained. It keeps you on your toes. Uh, there's so many positives that come with it and no one no one has to be alone i mean we talk all the time about you know going to the gym and doing it by yourself and how much fun is that not really well and so, even if you know even if it is fun to go alone your results are probably going to expedite themselves if you do it with a partner like why would you do yeah. it alone if you can partner up with somebody who's maybe two times better than you and can get you to the next level so much quicker it's like dude it makes yeah. sense and, you know, you've mentioned about the accelerator course. You know, I get traders all the time going, well, I can't have a tab until I start trading. No, that's not the case at all. If you want someone to help push you to go to that accelerator course, let me know or let us know. We will help you as much as we can. I mean, it's, that's the whole thing is not only just for trading, but it's also for training. Yeah, it's also, it's for learning. It's like, look guys, if you are studying for the SATs for God's sakes, right? Yeah. Wouldn't exactly. you want to hit your, your buddy up and be like, well, don't hit your dumbass buddies up. Cause man, I had some yeah. real friends that I was like, dude, this guy's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but hit, have, you know, <laughs> find your friends that also want to get to where you are, man, meet up and study for quote unquote, the SATs or the stock market. It's not just about the test of taking you know the sats and or correlating that to actually live trading dude hold yeah, each other accountable until you finish joe kelly's trading basic series or the accelerator course seriously i mean and the people that step up and ask for a tab i, I can also say it really success breeds success they want a tab they want to be there they want to go through this journey they want to be successful those are people that are driven so you know, why would you not want to be a part of that to help you grow? 
Well, there's, there's an old, there's an old saying, man, for, you know, people that, you know, are always in relationships, right? Like people who are not usually single and it's like, life's better shared. Well, so is trading, man. It's not, you don't just have to find, you know, a, a spouse or anything. like, dude, find a friend in trading that can get you to where you want to go. Life is better shared. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. and apparently oh, so is sex, according to Joe Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> this is our head goofball moderator guy <laughs> uh, oh boy i'm not gonna touch that one <laughs> yeah we'll leave that one alone thanks joe for ruining a wonderful <laughs> moment <laughs> you sicko there, there, yeah he's the one that mentioned the whole tag idea so we had we can't use the other word anymore yeah, to, so. to be inside Joe's mind for a day, I just, I would have horror, horror stories for the rest of my life, I'm sure. Nightmares. <laughs> the battery, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, if you want a tab partner, if you need help getting a partner in crime like Joe does for me on these webinars, and he'll be my partner in crime during the Q&A, definitely head over to the tab, uh, the Trading Accountability Buddy channel if you are a new member. Like I said, just tag Woody. I'm looking for help. Um, you know, I, I am, I've been trading for 20 minutes or I've been trading for 20 years. Who do you think you can best suit me up with? And then we can find a compatible, um, friend, you know, and, and we, we will keep working with you until it works. I mean, every once in a while we get a situation where we're like, ah, uh, they're not quite what they are or, oh wait, I found out I'm long biased. That's fine. We'll keep working with you, you know? Yeah, not everybody's going to be an immediate fit, and that's okay, man, because yeah. that person will be a fit for somebody else on that same level. I mean, just like Amin was talking about earlier, how he was doing everything in reverse, and he had to relearn some things. So, you know, his style and pattern had to change when he was going through that accelerated course. Yeah, so and here, it, it, and like another thing that I want to say on that, Woody, is because like you brought up a good point with you know, Amen is is like, dude, because so much of this game is in art as it is a science, as Bao always says, dude, if your biggest trouble, like, say you know how to trade a chart, but you're very, very, very gun shy and you don't trust the lines, bro, get a partner that will help you with yep. trust. Like, there is yep. someone that can help you with every single thing that you need to work on. I, I mean, every morning, like my my little tab group, you know, I'm telling them what I, where, I, where I'm getting in, where I'm getting out, where's my GTF, GTFO, and then I post my thing after I trade, and if I don't follow it, then they get to kick my ass. You know, win or lose, I, my game plan is already set. So the emotion's gone, and that's what you really need. And... and we're able to help you find those matches, you know, whatever style or setup you do. Well, and, I don't, and, and, it becomes, the same thing. and it becomes process. It becomes reactionary. You know, it, it's funny yeah. because I actually help a family member out every day with trading. It's kind of like my tab partner, right? Like a, um, one of my cousins. And he's, you know, he's been trading for a little while and, and he wants to adopt a different style. So I showed him what I do with the low hangers, you know, like BMRA or EYEG today that I did. And, you know, fast forward three months later on the style that I incorporate. Now he's telling me the lines. I'm like, that's how, it, that's how it should be. Like I have a partner in crime now to help me, give me more eyes. And I'm like, of course, cause he learned. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and he's only validating he knows you personally. So he knows your thought process. So it, Dude, it's simple as that, man. So it ain't science. Believe you me, I have tried to make it rocket science all the time. Well, we it all ain't rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, I appreciate you, man. All Thank right. you so much for coming on. Uh, every week, guys, I bring Woody on to introduce, and we talk about tab. We talk about everything that's needed. So if you need any help, just a recap really quick. Uh, what's up, Vic? Um, right here, guys, trading accountability, buddy. Send him a PM. This is how you send a PM. Just click on a random profile, click a message, and you will be able to send um, Woody or whoever you need, maybe your tab yeah. partner, a direct message. Yeah, like I said, I'm here for you guys, and, and I love this story. That's all I really want anymore. I just want the story. We like, just want to trade for man. Seriously. <laughs> Woody, you're awesome, man. All right. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thanks, brother. See you, man. Bye. One sec, guys. Oop. All right. I think uh, – Everybody's muted, so we don't hear click clack in the background. Um, 
Yeah. So here's the thing, guys. So I just introduced a couple of the products we got going on, uh, the courses, uh, the live event. You know, I just brought on Woody. Here's what we're going to do. I want to introduce the rest of the team real quick. And because uh, we're a little bit shorter for time, I'm going to try to get through this just a little bit quicker than I usually do because we had a lot of announcements today. But let me just introduce our team of who is a point of contact for whatever you're looking for. So Austin uh, whose real name is, or uh, Aloha Trader, whose real name is Austin, is our long and short bias trader on both small caps and big caps. James is a small cap trader, just like myself. Joe Kelly is our head moderator who put together our accelerator course. Uh, and then going down, uh, Matt, who's Chicago trader, put together our fundamental analysis series on our website. So if you guys need any help, man, learning the SEC filings and like, I don't understand, you know, that beyond price action. If you guys want to know why these things do these bigger moves and things like offerings, he's your point of contact. Oliver Tan runs and operates our uh, online shop. So if you guys want some mugs or t-shirts or hoodies designed or made, he's your point of contact. Harry Haas is definitely, definitely, definitely the poster boy uh, with Bao as um, our long bias trader. So if you guys are not necessarily short bias and you're learning how to capture these big squeezes or these front side moves, like maybe what, you know, like I was showing earlier on these kind of moves, like what IGC does, um, Harry is definitely going to be your point of contact. Tom Diesel is just like myself. Bear is just like myself and we operate just like James does. We all kind of have somewhat of the same process as it relates to shorting small caps. So if you guys want to take the time to reach out to one of us or all of us within a given week and get a little bit different perspective in a subtle variations of what our process is, dude, those are the guys. So definitely reach out to them for short bias. Um, Edson is a veteran when it comes to the stock market in general, man. I, I literally think he's been around since like Bow's day of like fractions and just OTCs and, you know, navigating in a small way. So, oh, someone's PMing me hard. <laughs> I still can't figure out how to turn that off. So you guys might just have to hear a ding every now and then. Um, El Dutorino, let me show you real quick. If we go to the new member channel, guys, right here and scroll all the way to the top, Fernando created what's called the MIC secretary. The MIC secretary not only produces links for downloadable content, like you see here, I want you guys, if you're brand new to open the MIC starter pack and a couple of other of these things that the MIC secretary lists, it's gonna allow you to know when a stock halts in the main trading chat at the bottom. It's absolutely a wonderful feature. And I think you guys are gonna get a lot of joy out of it and a lot of use. So, hey, welcome Sybil. Um, they, Faye and Vic are actually tab partners with each other and they, I are mostly short bias, but I do know that they long a little bit. And I know Faye's actually gravitating towards big caps a little bit these days and even options. So again, man, when you show up for every webinar, when you put in the work and you get a process together, I always say, be a master of one, not a jack of all trades because Faye almost practically what feels like mastered small caps, she was then able to build the repertoire and, and go into things like big caps or options. But she didn't, you know, in her first week, try to do options, small caps, big caps, Forex, you know, Bitcoin trading, Pokemon cards. She didn't try to do everything in a week. And that's what I want to really make clear to you guys is you are going to find success in trading. If you narrow down your focus, then when you get to a level of comfortability that Faye and Vic have, and especially with, the, with, the, with each other as tab partners and have a certain process, then you should venture out once you've built bankroll. So <laughs> yeah, I think Alex's sixth sense just went off on Forex, man. I'm telling you. Uh, next, we have the lovely Tay. We call her Mama Tay. She is our swing trader. So just to kind of show you guys really quick, um, we have a swing trading uh, kind of channel where you can definitely network with her, send her a message, pick her brain. She is wonderful when it comes to the long side of capturing these big moves, man. I mean, the, the, the girl's holding Tesla at like freaking 300 and Amazon at like five, dude. I'm telling you, if I could go back, yeah, she's our chat police. If I could go back in time, I would just want to be Tay's partner on freaking big cap swing trading, dude. I'm like, I could have retired by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me get, what's up, Bong? Let me get into some of the structure that we have at MIC, guys, because I want to make this very clear. So I'm actually going to go to the website for this because I already have it queued. So every single Monday, guys, we have a very, very particular structure for the week. 
Alex puts together after his trades, what's called a YouTube live. He's going to bring, uh, well, he doesn't bring on people necessarily, but what he does is he talks about everything that relates to the market, what's going on, his thought process, his commentary, any, you know, thing that correlates to his process and what he can teach you and just good lessons every single week. Then Bao actually does bring people on every single Tuesday uh, at the same time. So he will talk about his trades, bring, you know, someone on the split screen on the IG live. And it's a wonderful experience on psychology and getting to see real life testimonials like Eamon or on this last week and to see how possible it is for you guys. I swear the only thing standing from you, between you guys in consistency and profitability and trading is your mindset, if you can, and then your actions that are combating the laziness. Are you guys watching the videos? Are you watching these webinars? Are you, you know, sc getting screen time while you're trading? Are you on Trader View and tracking your stats? If you put in the time and have the necessary mindset, I, it's just, I honestly, to my dying day, don't think you can lose in the long run, but you've got to learn what this game is about and how to move about it. Uh, which we teach you. And Bao's very good and um, persistent on the psychology aspect on Tuesdays. Uh, and then also at night at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, Joe Kelly does what's called a large cap webinar and he brings on guests. It's a wonderful experience and specifically a little bit different if you guys are not necessarily super up to date or up to speed on small caps and or that's just not your quote unquote flavor of ice cream. And you're like, dude, big caps is where I make all my money. Maybe I'm 80% big caps, 20% small caps. You get the idea. Um, which I think Faye is now becoming like 50-50, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Maybe 60-40, small caps, big caps. Um, every single Thursday, guys, the market sentiment webinar by Aloha Trader is uh, exactly what I said. He, yeah, Faye saw the light. What? Oh, 50-50, nice. I like the clarification. Very nice. So on Thursdays, guys, Austin is going to show you his big cap trades, his small cap trades, what he thinks about the market, things like that. Um, dude, Vic, I hope she's not leaving you in the dust, dude. Are you learning that stuff too? <laughs> Fridays is going to be a crapshoot, guys. And then Saturday, meaning by crapshoot, I mean it could be anything. Alex might do, it's not like we don't do anything on Fridays. Alex might do another YouTube live. Bao might do another IG live. Bao sometimes does a daily recap where he thinks that there's a lot of lessons to be learned that day. So it's definitely a chance for him to kind of teach you guys and, and show you a different perspective on what's going on currently in the market. Because anything that we do in MIC, let me make very clear, anything we do when it comes to a live event, when it comes to a course, this is not outdated 10-year-old DVD bullshit. This is up-to-date current information of what's working in 2020, what should work for the next 100 years, but we are always spicing it up saying for every YouTube Live, every IG Live, guys, this is what's working now. You literally either adapt or you die practically, right? So, you know, this market is not, or this market of small caps is not what it was seven years ago. Seven years ago, you could borderline short and close your eyes and walk away and things would just wouldn't zombie back and squeeze. Well, guess what? That doesn't, exist anymore. You have to put risk management and hard stops in, you know, in every single trade. You have to know that by 1030, a lot of things come back and squeeze. It is literally a different market from what it was 10 or 15 years ago. So all those furus selling DVDs that are like, you know, uh, how to short penny stocks, part one and part two and three and four, it's, it's 10 years old, bro. That shit doesn't work anymore. So you have to learn what's up to date, man. Um, let's go into the weekend mentoring channel. I want to show you guys this really quick. Every single Saturday, every single Saturday from one to two Eastern, we answer your questions for an hour. Myself, the moderators, we get in the nitty gritty of it. It's awesome. You can ask any questions that you want and we are going to answer those. Um, and then on Sundays, Joe Kelly has his trading basic series, you know, episodes. So if you guys have not watched that, highly recommend doing so immediately, especially if you don't have the accelerator course, which if you do, this is the first thing you watch hands down, like bar none. Uh, next, I want to talk about the video library. So let me go back to the site. Uh, I'm going to actually going to expand upon this a little bit. If we go to the videos tab right here, you are going to see two things that I want you to pay attention to, two things off the bat. Number one, click here if you're brand new, and you're gonna get access to two videos that is gonna show you the exact structure of how to begin in the video library. Number two, 
when you find out what you want to study, whether it's FOMO, whether it's greed, whether it's the fundamental series, whatever it is, we have a search filter. So just to give you an idea, if you want to know about Deathline and you click search, guess what? Every video that we've ever incorporated from any moderator, whether it's Tom Diesel, whether it's Alex, whether it's Joe Kelly on Deathline is now going to be in here up to five pages of videos. So you guys can equate that for any of the categories in question. And that's what I love about our search filter is like, dude, that took us a long time to incorporate and make sure that you guys are up to speed and up to date. Number two, we have proprietary training strategies at MIC. The first bounce is for day one longs for the most part. First resistance is typically for day one shorts. The death line short is probably the number one account builder for day one shorts. Uh, the first red day is a wonderful setup. It's just a little bit more of, you know, rare quantity. It's just, it, dude, it's the, it's the first edition Charizard, right? Like it's worth 50 grand on eBay that I just found out like a couple months ago, man. And I was like, why the hell didn't I keep those stupid ass cardboard cards? So I'm just saying, man, this is like my favorite setup. Probably it's ever existed. This is the go-to setup. And when you have the opportunity and the iron is hot, that is when you strike. And this is the day that Alex made a hundred thousand dollars, dude, on Tesla, man, or whatever it was that day, 87,000. Then another ticker brought in the hundred K mark. But I'm telling you right now, the first red day is as powerful as any setup that's ever been invented because of the psychology behind it. It is not just for small caps. It is not just for big caps. It is um, accessible across both sectors, basically, or islands of, you know, different tickers, you know, because it, it, yeah, universal. There you go, G. Alvarez. Thank you. It's a universal setup because I'm here. I'm, blah, 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 I'm stumbling over myself. It's a total universal setup because it's literally based on psychology. You have a stock up for three days, five days, seven days, whatever. When it rolls red and slams hard, all the Robin Hood, what's up, David? All the Robin Hooders, all the normal buyers, the average Joe Schmo who just gets in a stock and doesn't know what he got in and he heard it was a good company. When it slams red, it is now giving you, giving you the first indication that, hey, the domino effect is in effect. Maybe people are going to start selling their positions. Not that they think the company is terrible anymore, um, but it is, it just gives you a reason because when, you know, monkey see, monkey do. So when the dominoes start to fall, man, they're all going to fall. That's the whole point. So when these overextended moves finally roll red and show some serious weakness, it gives investors, it gives holders, it gives, you know, traders who have no idea what they're doing, a chance to exit. And then, you know, a cascade effect of basically a snowball effect avalanche kind of happens. So, um, yeah. Uh, low hanging fruit guys is exactly what it sounds. It is a day two play usually. Well, it's after day one. So I'll just make it clear. It's day two plus, but it's really for day twos. And it's a stock that was beaten down or closed far from its highs, um, on day one. And then what you want is you want relief pops into the previous tops on the day two play or what's called the low hanging fruit play, because that is where the bag holders are. So yeah. Uh, Tasha, see the webinar for new users is recorded. Where do we access it if we want to rewatch this? Uh, Quinn, you will be able to see this in the, um, in the video library, bud. We are recording this. Um, so the next thing I want to actually talk about, guys, is um, let me, I'm trying to figure out the order because I also have another thing to present. Let's, uh, let's actually talk about the brokers right now. So you guys are familiar. We have just announced we have a normal partnership, guys, and as you guys have known for a little while, we have a partnership now with two brokers. So the first one was Cobra Trading. In which, here, let me let me blow this up for you. Uh, Cobra Trading is our partnership of choice for. Let me make this very clear because I, I there were some questions about this. This is for USA members, and we have an international, which is Trade Zero. We just announced, but. If you want probably arguably one of the best brokers for USA guys, this is my favorite broker of all time. I've been using them for years. I think they're absolutely wonderful. Chad Hessing, who's the CEO and president of Cobra, will not only hook you up with a 25% off commission structure, if you are an MIC member, it, you're just gonna save a fortune in fees, man. So if you need any help with brokers, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to go to, one sec, Quinn, we can, uh, I can definitely show you later, but after this webinar. Um, so the broker talk, 
right here. If you go in here, guys, these are the people of contact for the new trade zero. But if you scroll up, you can reach out to Cobra Trading. They're in our chat. You can literally send them a message. We have now both brokers in chat, which brings me to uh, our new partnership, which is trade zero for specifically, specifically, specifically uh, international guys. So now all of our guys in Canada, um, our guys across the globe that couldn't get into Cobra, we have established a partnership that is absolutely exclusive and they are special perks for MIC members. Nobody else is getting this right here. This is what's called 5% off locate fees. If you are an international um, MIC member, you will get the platform free for three months. That's exclusive for MIC. And then after that, also exclusive, you will, after the third month, you will get 20% off the uh, platform fee guys. So uh, DM trade zero Inc in chat for more info. And I'm just super, I'm super happy to announce them, man. I think they're wonderful. Uh, a lot of our members have been using them for a really long time. And uh, a lot of people have some really good things to say about them. So I'm super excited that we now have an option that's really identifiable and accessible for our international guys, man. We're, we're trying to take care of literally every single member in here, no matter what your bankroll is, no matter where you live, uh, we're here for you. The next thing I want to show you guys really quick is twofold. I want to show you the, let's go to the website. Let me expand upon this. If you go to the join now page, guys, let me, let me show you real quick. We have three options at MIC, monthly, annual, and lifetime. Anything that's correlated to each package is on the left right here. There's a description and there's a check mark that kind of correlates to it and kind of um, coupling factor shows you what's included. The monthly is $197 a month. In, in fact, it's, if you think about it, the monthly is literally our worst deal. It's still a wonderful option because you are going to learn, but it's actually our worst deal. Our best deals lie in the annual and lifetime, and here's why. While the monthly is a wonderful option because you're going to learn so much about trading, guys, the annual and lifetime has access to free access to the boot camps. You have access to the MIC archive. We're doing a bundle deal right now where you have um, access to the accelerator course, which of course it's a little bit higher of a price than what, what's listed here. Annual is 1890 and lifetime is 7,000. I will work with you guys on these a little bit if you do text me at my number and we'll figure out a way that best suits your needs and bundling. But um, you know what's included is you know literally five times the structure, 10 times the content. Like it's just, these really are where you're gonna get the bang for your buck. So you can totally stay on the monthly if you want, but I'm telling you right now, guys, annual with the accelerator course and or a lifetime membership is going to, it's just a much better investment. Uh, yeah, yeah. Faye upgraded to lifetime two weeks after joining MIC. <laughs> and then David's like, she was a mod right after. We, let me make it very clear. We don't promote you to mod because you upgrade to lifetime. That's not the only reason. That's hysterical, dude. For the anniversary guys, we will do a big unadvertised sale promo. So text me right now. Text me bootcamp. If you are interested, just text this number right here. Text bootcamp the words bootcamp secret code. And I'm telling you, man, we've got like, what, five days before this event, I'm going to take care of you. I want all you guys to have the chance to get in. I want you guys have all the chance to um, have a chance to upgrade. Because again, guys, remember, annual or lifetime memberships get in free for this bootcamp. You don't have to pay $97 to get in. And not only that, if you are a lifetime, you're going to have August 17th, and you're gonna have August 18th. You're gonna have two days and you're just gonna have so much more, man. Lifetime is the way to go. Um, but let me show you why. Let me show you one of the cool features. So where did I put, there we go. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna show you what this is really quick. I'm gonna to go to chart recaps and fills because this is the channel that I usually focus on. So check this out. This is the MIC archive, in which case annual members and lifetime members get exclusive access um, above monthly members because this took us a long time and cost a lot of money to create, man. So check this out. This is a full backup of chat. Every single day in basically MIC pre-recorded history. Let me go to a random day. Let me show you. Let's go to September 2019, Monday the 16th. Let's go to the main trading chat. Now you guys can see that we are in an archive state of, of that Monday. So how cool is that, man? So now that we're in here, you can see what was talked about. You can see everything. And if I were to go to the home, if I go back home, I want to show you some cool features. So look at these emojis, guys. Check these out. 
setups, tracking trades, risk management, trading psychology, fundamental analysis, and technical analysis. This is built in. Let me expand. Oh, actually, sorry. One sec. I'm going to expand this a little bit, but okay. So these specific emojis correlate to what's called a community voted folder. And we also have a my personal digital notebook, but there's a difference between the two. So if I were to go in the chat, let's, so say I like, you know, one of these charts, uh, let's find one that I can really identify with. Um, oh, uh, Giacomo is still doing things. Nice. I love it. Well, let's just use this for the example. So he give a really big dis discussion about it. He posts some charts. Let's say I wanted to save all this because I thought there were such good examples. If I add and scroll down all the way down, if I add guys, what's called the technical analysis emoji right here, th this is now at the bottom, as you guys can see. If I went into the community voted folder of technical analysis, this in, you know, two, five minutes, whatever it takes, I think it's only a couple minutes, it will now update and you will see everything in here going in here. So, dude, we, we, I'll just take it off for the sake of this example, but as you guys can see, we have endless charts, endless examples of Alex making 4,300 this day on, you know, PSTV. Here's how he did it. He gave a description. We saved that information. Stuff moves, 30% rule. Austin's, you know, one of, his one of his favorite things, man, a first resistance, you know, wait for the top, short the balance, things like that. Um, you know, how to identify a stuff move with elevated volume, death candles, which I love, man, low hangers, um, playing both sides of the coin this day. I literally long or I shorted in the first hour. And then I did exactly what my process said. I cut off and then I was like, dude, the stock is strong. I think I'm going to long on the VWAP reclaim. Boom. So that's exactly what we teach every single day. And now that we have a, we, we've, we've had for a while, but we have a resource to where you guys can save all this information. Cause again, if you're a monthly member, it's a great option, but the annual or the lifetime is going to have things like this in the accelerator course or things that are just going to exponentially expedite your learning curve rather than having to sift through all of chat or 7,000 videos, which we've created. So you see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? Next is what's called my personal digital notebook. So as you guys can see, I'm signing as Tosh Bradley, myself, only I can have eyes on this folder right here, my personal notebook. And I just save things in here for you guys to see examples on. But if you wanted to, um, say I wanted to save P PL Lord's chart right here. Instead of those custom emojis that you saw earlier, it's called what's, what's called the, the writing hand emoji. So if I put the writing hand emoji, it's now going to go directly into my digital notebook. And here's the cool part. I can do it with something in you know, directly from the MIC archive. So I can do that comment, you know, and say, um, you know, a great hello to the MIC fam, you know, whatever it is, man. And then I save this and then, you know, it gets updated in my notebook. So as you guys can see how that works. So you're going to get access to stuff like this when you are an annual or lifetime member. So if you have any questions about that, guys, or anything further or anything you want me to show you on that, then definitely reach out to me and just, again, just here's my number, just, uh, just text. Or email here. I'll give you an email option as well. Tosh at my investing club.com. I know some of you guys can literally actually only get a hold of me through IG. So T Bradley 90 underscore trader. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's my IG. I never really have to say my IG. I think that's it. So those are three points of contact guys. If you can't get me, get to me through those three, well, man, then you're a caveman, bro. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into this. Every single day, we do what's called daily trader calls. So we try to fit in as much time as we can, guys. Sometimes I get literally, I get like 15 people wanting to call and I can't get to everybody in a day or some of the other moderators, but I promise you, we will get to you. You might have to just get in line for a day or two, but I promise you guys, we try to get as to many calls as we can. If you need help in your trading, we literally get on the phone with you and help you and, you know, send us charts, man. We'll critique some charts. I know one of my main, main guys in here who I help uh, through that and did for a little while was David. And, uh, you know, we, I actually not this David, a different David, but what's up, David. Um, and I just helped him. We talked cars, we talked charts. Uh, he wanted to get on the phone a couple times. I did. He, I was able to confirm some of his process, but again, man, just if you need help, reach out to. <laughs> there you go, David. We'll have to talk about Wagyu and, and uh, cars, bro. How about that new Corvette, man? That C8 is sick, dude. I know I bow thinks Corvettes are douchey, man, but I'm like, dude, the 2020 Corvette is fucking sick. 
Yeah, baby Ferrari for real. Uh, uh, Mid-engine, dude. Mid-engine, finally. Um, so if you guys need any help with downloadable content uh, or anything that relates to learning style, learning process, like I said, we have all the resources, everything that you need at your fingertips at MIC. Just find a, you know someone that's a point of contact that can get you there, that can teach you the right way. We have downloadable content every single week, guys, uh, in the main trading chat at 4 a.m. Eastern. I, you know, my it's automated, but my rule list for staying safe is posted there, and it's just it's a great way to learn. Um, a couple things if you are new to this game. So I just want you guys to know that you are taken care of, but you got to put in the time to learn. Next, I want to, I'm going to actually, yeah, let me, I'll just keep those open for you guys a little bit. Let me expand upon this. And what we're going to do now is let's get into, um, one sec, let me remove some of these so you guys can see. Yeah, so now that we're in the Slack chat, guys, this the C8 sexy. She's at Turner for sure. I saw one in person for the first time the other day, man. It was parked in a Whole Foods parking lot, and I was like, dude, uh, if if the if the dealerships stop marking them up, freaking fifty grand, dude, that is the <laughs> like take my sixty five or seventy Gs immediately. I just I hate when the dealerships mark this stuff up based on supply and demand. It's not a hundred thousand dollar car, bro, but the dealerships are greedy as shit. <laughs> So guys, let me introduce to you this Slack platform right now. This is the main trading chat. Um, you know, this is where the business happens. This is every single day. This is where we're posting thought process. This is where we're posting, you know, what Alex's watch list was in the morning. This is where we are posting, um, you know, charts that we think you guys can learn. Um, basically anything that correlates to cutting your learning curve down or keeping you up to date live and showing you examples of our process. Like this was one of the trades I took today. Like we want to show these things and show why why we hit at a certain level or, you know, why this is part of my process or vice versa for Harry or James or Tom Diesel or any of our guys. So yeah, large cap and options. This is a room that is tailored to exactly what it sounds. Large cap and options. Definitely network with Joe Kelly in here. Um, you know, Faye, uh, Brian, our tax guy right here, uh, which I'll actually show you guys in a sec. Market newsfeed. Uh, we've we, we've literally got a channel where you guys can see current up to date information on the world. And if Trump takes a shit, after hours, what's up, Vic? After hours, dude. I, every time I see this guy, he's got a smile on his face, man. I'm telling you, I love it, dude. I love it, man. That's that's. A... <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know. <laughs> uh, so check this out, guys. This is After Hours, man. There's a lot of fu fun, funny networking going on in here. Show your life, show your food, man. Welcome new members. It's just a hoot, man. It's it's a freaking hoot, dude. It's it's fun as hell, man. Val's always posting the funniest damn videos I've ever seen. And if you guys need any help with your trading, you know, you can publicly state a question in After Hours. You know, just, hey, guys, I need help with xyz i don't understand how to blah 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 and then dude you were you have a thousand plus traders to go out of their way and want to help you because mic is such a wonderful learning kind of community inspired ecosystem where people actually fucking help each other man and that is what mic is about and if you can hear the passion in my voice behind it you know being a part of its creation was it was this is this is the joy that this brings bow alex or myself is the fact that it is truly changing people's lives man so that's what it's all about chart recaps and fills man this is where we post the charts if you are a um if you are a member, unless you are a moderator or a mentor, guys, we want to see your charts. I, I promise you, we would love to see you post all day, but unfortunately, it just clogs up chat a little too much. So we ask that you that you post in this appropriate channel, and we can always go back and see later and see who's doing good. But we ask that only the mentors and the moderators post in the main trading chat during market hours. But after hours is off limits, man. Go ahead, dude. Do whatever you got to get. Um, Alex, shit. Uh, let me help this guy real quick. He just got an accelerator course and needs a code. See, we're dude, we're I, we're always here to help you guys, man. If you have a question, dude, he just bought the accelerator course, and guess what? He needed a code to get it, so we provide that code. If there's a bug or you guys need any help on the back end, we are here to do that. Alex and myself, sometimes Joe, um, we're we're just one question away, man. Seriously. Um, let's see broker talk. Here's how to contact the brokers daily report card. Definitely download the daily report card and post your charts in here, guys, if you want, this is a great way right here. This is a great way to track your trades just to give you guys a quick example. Um, 
let's see, swing trading for Tay. You know, she's here to help. We're here to help. If you guys want to learn, <laughs> good God, of course I see Faye in the swing trading channel. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing Wonder Woman can't do, man. I'm telling you. Taxes, guys, we have a channel for this. Uh, this is Brian Rivera. He is a CPA that we've partnered with. If you guys need any help as it correlates to saving as much money as you can from Uncle Sam, man. Look, Uncle Sam's going to get the Rolex, man. He's going to get the Patek. He's going to get the Richard Mill. But there are ways to, to save money in your trading by getting someone who is educated in their field, man. I would never trust a trading career with a normal accountant who doesn't know things like the wash sale rule. So if you guys want to learn how to save your money, this is your guy. So hit up trader tax CPA and he can help. This is my man, Brian. He's a wonderful trader. He's a big cap trader. He's in the big cap room and he will help you guys. Um, trading stations guys, show us your trading stations. Love it. Love to see it. That's awesome. Like the, I kind of like the, the porn lighting. <laughs> VIP meetups, guys. We will post information here if we have them in person. Obviously, we won't for a little while with the pandemic. Um, weekend mentoring right here. Direct messages down here. Um, uh, let's go into two things I want to show you before I bring Joe on. If I go to view profile and I go to edit profile, you guys can change whatever you want seen in your profile or remove or upload an image. So that's kind of cool right there. Um, we have a search feature. So check this out. If you wanted to see what a specific ticker did today, let's say IGC, for example, boom, we can now filter out IGC and all the comments that were made on IGC specifically. So uh, the internet kind of sucks right here, but yeah, so they could, they just came up timestamp in order. As you guys can see, it's a way to filter out the noise. Simultaneously, you can actually do this with traders. So if you wanted to do, you know, just from colon and then say, uh, Alex, you know, I use the example every week. Now you can see exactly just what Alex talked about every single week, every single day, whatever it is, scroll back as needed. And it's a great way to filter out whatever you are looking to keep linear focus on and put under the microscope, so to speak. Uh, dude, hope nobody's fighting short this damn stock, dude, seriously. All right, guys, that is, I'm already recording. I want to bring on Joe now. Vic training for the Hunger Games. That's hysterical, bro. What up, bro? What's up, Joe? What's going on? Dude, it's going, man. It's I've been hunching for an hour over this damn small desk makeshift shit. My girl, I'm on like my girl's like one foot desk. Dude, my back is broken. I need to go to a chiropractor after this. <laughs> bro, that's that's been me. That dude, that it I just feel like I've sat at a da at a desk for like too long this well, bro, corona I'm, shit dude. is just not oh bro i'm pissed not, as hell bro because i had a freaking good like, for my spine joe i had a uh, when i was living in arizona man because for those who don't know i just made the move back but dude i had a boss ass fucking standing desk dude i haven't stood i have a standing desk too but i'm a dummy and oh, yeah. uh, and i didn't buy cables long enough <laughs> <You're> <laughs> to joking. stand up with my tower <laughs> oh shit and so I'm like, I just have a, I just have a, I have a standing desk that I sit at a lot. See, that's how you know you're doing and, good, guys, is when, is when you're doing so well that you just got standing desk, just chilling in the basement. It's not, just, not, just not, here, not doing any good. Just oh, shit. like, I'm just like, wow. I wanted to get one of those stools. So uh, we got a question on YouTube. How do you join? How much for a lifetime membership? Uh, if you want to get a discount, just text Tosh at 213-458-5997. Oh, uh, shit. I did one, two, three. Fuck. Sorry. 213-458-5997. And I just typed 4997. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, Joe. Struggling today. You need a standing desk, man. All the blood's in your ass. <laughs> Dude, for real. I, I'm like, oh, geez. Hallelujah. That is great. So, so, um, let's see here. Seems tough to build a small account being short biased. You only have three trades a week. Um, I would say it's it's gonna be tough in general. Uh and you know the odds are stacked against small accounts in the markets um but it's not impossible 
Joe, it can what be was done. The, it just takes an immense question? amount of discipline. Joe, what was, the, what was the exact question, brother? It was more just a statement. It seems like it, it statement slash question. It seems as though it's uh, very tough to build a small account uh, being short biased well, as you only have three day trades a week. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There are alternatives to that, guys. So here's the thing. I think that it is not hard. You're just more limited. Obviously, you need a good broker, which we provide. So if you do have access to Cobra or you have access to Venom, you are going to have good enough resource or even Trade Zero for International. You are going to have good um, brokers to be able to do what, what you need to do. When it, there, there are alternatives though, like I'm saying. So when I first started, man, I broke up my money. So a lot of guys reach out to me and they're like, God, Tosh, I got, I got, dude, I got 7,500. What do I do? I go, dude, I'll tell you what you fucking do. You open up three brokerages, man, and you get nine trades a week. And if you have to trade more than nine times in a week, guess what? You are over trading. I so, agree. I agree. So hell yeah, man. So here's the first thing I would say, bro, is I would say Venom is your 100% your first choice because they're the best. Um, and then you just do your research with whatever the second or third best options are. I don't know what those are. You're going to have to figure those out for yourself because we only promote what we promote. But once you figure that out, man, having nine trades a week is a game changer for a PDT account. Again, you can even break up, dude, $6,000 in a 222, man. And I, look, with the right entry, because I think personally – that there's nothing more important than entry with the right entry, dude, 200 shares can build an account quick. If you, if you get the right entry and process on most stocks, so it doesn't take a million dollars, man. Yeah. With, I think the challenge becomes that most small accounts don't get the borrows. And yeah. so that's where a lot of people will say, it seems very tough. And I, you know, it's, it's got its challenges. Well, um, you know, yeah. then you, then you can start off long, man, because here's the thing. Everybody wants to race to shorting because it's, it's apparently quote unquote, the cool style, dude. It's not the cool style, man. I know a ton of guys making way more than a lot of short bias traders on the long side. So if you guys just want to be a short bias trader, because you think it's the cool style, bro, I, it couldn't be further from the truth. I just don't have a comfortable bone in my body when I'm long, but I'm telling you right now, long has as much opportunity as short. So what I would do in the beginning of my trading is, dude, break up your money, get nine trades, and then master what's called the first bounce. That's one of our styles, dude. Master the first bounce setup. I swear to God, dude, it's a great setup, um, which is right here. The first bounce, man. I'm telling you. What do you think, Joe? What do you think on that matter? Um, <laughs> I would, you know, I know a lot of people are attracted to, to, playing small caps, but that's not the only market out there for small accounts, folks. Like you don't need a large account to go actually buy good companies. You know, um, if you want to go out there and, and actually just invest an easy way to do that is learning risk management through options and holding long-term. You know, you don't just need a day trade to build an account. It's not just one shoe fits all. You could do all kinds of stuff. Bro, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, for example, like I, I don't want to, I don't want to use $40,000 of buying power to invest in American Airlines and no telling how long I'm going to hold it for. And so I just bought long-term options and used four grand were the buying power instead of 40 and I, and, and it'll net the same risk and reward, if not more. And I don't have to use 40 K of buying power. I can use four. So it's, there's ways to, to mitigate the risk. There's all kinds of ways to trade. And so don't think if you have a small account that it's just done, right? There's, there's never a time to not learn. Right, right. So, yeah. Well, that's, that's why I was saying in the beginning of, of this webinar, guys, literally even before I started the tutorial on how to use things is 
I swear to God, man, the number one thing standing between you and success is more your mindset than anything, thinking that you limit yourself based on, oh no, I only have $3,000 for my name. I can't learn how to trade, or I only have 15, or I'm under PDT, or I can't short, wham, 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 me. Dude, it's, look, man, again, there are people crushing it in every way, shape, or form. You just have to learn that. You just, knowledge is power, man. So, I agree, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, man, don't limit yourself, guys. Seriously. There's I no agree. excuses, man. Do you have to pay lo to locate shorts at Venom? No. It's first come, first serve. Is options more complicated than equities? Sure. Probably. I would agree with that. I would say, I'd say so. Hey, Joe, really quick. Bao just said, just conducted an options webinar series and we have videos for options in our member library. Uh, the member library, we spent a ton of time to hashtag the videos so you can search. Uh, Bao said, Joe, tell everyone how much time we spent on the video library, dude, seriously. Oh, I fucking lost count, dude. <laughs> I lost count on how Lifetime. much time. I've lost fucking count. And so it, it's um, over the last six weeks, We've done everything related to options um, from, you know, like episode two, three, or one, two, three, four. It's all structured. It's all structured in there. So if you want to learn how to use a small account and invest in good companies um, and, you know, have passive income over time, it's not about being a millionaire in a month or being a millionaire in a year. It's not, this is not like how to make millions in, in 12 months, because that's a feat that very, 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 very few will ever achieve. Dude, and, and what industry is truly get rich overnight? Unless you're a lotto winner, man, there is no get rich overnight bullshit. Right. Yeah. It, that's, it, and you know, that's where we always catch a lot <laughs> of, a lot of, uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe strippers. Yeah. That could be. In true. Magic City, Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> David is yeah. not wrong. Yeah, that's true. Can't take <laughs> get STDs overnight though. Yeah. So in in the video library, there's there's I believe about 900 videos now um, that deal with all kinds of situations. You know, it's not just small cap trading. It's not just large cap. It's not just options. It's it's pretty much anything and everything. Just don't come here trying to learn about forex because nobody gives a shit about that. And the people that do give a shit know what a waste of time it is. <laughs> For real. For dude. real, dude. For real. I'm going to tell you right now, man. Anybody that promises you the world, hey, guess what, man? I want to be friends with you. I want to turn your $5 into $5 billion. Guess what? Join our WhatsApp group. They broke as a motherfucking joke. And then every money, every morning, all they do is they just say, let's get money. Let's and get then money. <laughs> Dude, my buddy joined one of those and he was like, I opened a MetaTrader account. I got into this WhatsApp group. Oh my gosh, it's so it's so active in there. They're always doing so and I'm like, oh man. Dude, it's like, let's get money. No, let's get out of your parents' basement, bro. You scamming ass hoe. For dude, real. I'm telling you, I hate seeing those Forex things, man. It gets me so like, dude, me bow and Alex get so mad because like literally dude the concept of mic was to legitimately help people i mean dude, you have to think built by traders who already made it trading these fucking guys that are promising riches and i'll trade your account for this percentage and this and this and i can promise you returns of this it's like dude how do people fall for that have we just been too legit in this industry for too long that we can't fall for it i'm like how do people fall for that shit dude uh man i you know i i fell for it before there was ever mic well, that's what and, I mean, Joe. It's like, I guess we're so privy to it. Yeah, it's like. You know, I spent thousands of dollars prior to MIC. So, you know, that's what the fuck, guys. Where was MIC? Joe <laughs> <laughs> was in the DMs of some Forex guy promising him the world. Like a lot. Like, tell, tell, tell me again about them signals you got. What? Dude, these, these Forex signals are taking him on the magic carpet ride. I can show you the world. <laughs> like, Oh shit. It oh. was uh yeah, no, it was shoo. Aladdin ass.
But guys, this is, this is seriously, this is the mindset that you have to incorporate. This is real. This, this is not Forex stuff because I know that was funny timing that Faye just posted. No, this is legit. This is what Bao said. Seriously, think about this. And this is why it's not get rich quick. And if you just take it day by day, and like we always say, man, $200 days truly are the blueprints when you have a process for $2,000 days and $2,000 for four and $4,000 for more. Like turn in two and a foe and foe and a mo. But like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what but, the hell? <laughs> but this, that's from one of my favorite movies the next day air but guys look at this 252 trading days a year 200 a day literally is a full-time salary then 4k a day is 1 million a year if you break down the numbers on a monetary kind of scale it's shocking how simple not easy not easy of course not easy but how simple it is to make it through trading or make it through you know anything that's legit if you break it down seriously yep dude serious man Faye, this Tell is why you joined my seat here me and joe <laughs> what what's you that say? what's that joe what'd you say i said uh tell me about this 30th birthday how was that Oh man, took the uh, took the wife, meaning the ex girlfriend, down to <laughs> Laguna Beach, and uh, we just had a good time, man. Over the weekend, I I got to see a real Republican city, not filled with homeless and stuff, man. It was just no smog, and dude, yeah, Bobby or David, Laguna Beach, dude, is wow, man. I I, I swear to God, dude, that's where I retire. Like that was it, man. Was it? Never been there, bro. It's it's heaven on earth, man. Seriously, like coming from. Arizona, which was, yeah, seriously, bro. It's just, it's magical. Literally it's, um, oh, and, and I know Bao, we went to Pelican Hill that one time, dude, we went, Alex Bao and myself went to Pelican Hill and had the time of our lives one time. And we got this like big old suite, man. And it was so much fun. But when, if you guys want a really good, you know, vacation in California, man, I, I honestly can't recommend Laguna beach anymore is it was just wonderful. So, you know, just, uh, enjoyed the inner peace, man, for a weekend. Man, I think my favorite place, uh, with the exception of food, and, and I talked about this last night in the webinar, what is Carmel. Oh, Carmel by the Sea? Mm-hmm. Dude, Carmel by the Sea is like, is like Laguna Beach on steroids, bro. <laughs> Dude, Carmel is my shit. Like, Carmel? I would, I would literally, like, you know, I would have to ship all the food in because all the restaurants there were absolutely horrid um but i absolutely love carmel bro carmel by the sea is such unbelievably exclusive real estate that i actually know this for a fact on scenic route joe you know that major major road that overlooks basically pebble beach golf course and like that whole um that whole major street on the water dude the yeah, and lowest like nine mile drive or yeah, five yeah, mile or 12 mile or 60 mile whatever something mile drive the cheapest real estate on that street which is called scenic route is five million dollars dude the cheapest house <laughs> like holy shit man that's awesome and we're only gonna get there with forex alerts <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to get out mile of drive. that's it 17 mile drive yeah, literally right. it's it's yeah. huge but i love that place you trade, you trade pre-market seems like by the time the market opens the top runners are already dead barely have a decent bounce how do you trade those uh i do not i personally do not i wait for the open my whole edge is there but check this out guys uh, we have a trader that does. We have a moderator that does. This is James. He is going to give a full-on lecture, a uh, meetup at Carmel. He's going to give a full-on lecture from 3.30 p.m. Eastern to 4.15 during the live event on Monday about how he trades so effectively on pre-market trading. I do not, only because it's not my comfort zone and my edge is so, and my success rate is just so much better in the open. But again, man, it can entirely be done. I just don't like it for myself. I agree. Oh, do you? I've always found that in pre-market trading, you know, eight out of 10 times, I'm able to get just as good, if not a better entry at the open with a better defined risk. I love it, dude. Well, I feel like pre-market traders are always like just, if you're short, you're praying that pre-market highs don't break. And if you're long, you're playing that the pre-market low doesn't break. Um, you know, it's, and that's really the only 
only set risk outside of that. So I, I'm just like, I tried it. I tried to get into it, but dude, I, I was like, I just can't love this. <laughs> well, you, you know, it, it's really hard for someone like me, Joe, because I'm on the West coast that dude, just waking up in general after seven years is sometimes hard, dude. It's very t- You know, how many times are me and bow in the morning? Like, dude, I'm exhausted. Like I don't even have the mental capacity to be in a position until open. Dude, I really don't, man. I really don't. And I don't like pre-market trading because if I would give you one piece of advice, guys, if you do pre-market trade, and I know James would tell you this as well, it's not the time of day where you want to throw size. I think even James only uses like at most 50% of his size during pre-market. So again, it's just, it's a lot more whipsaw. You know, you, the liquidity really is in the open. Yeah. Flash, you, you know, man, David, you know. Um, just be careful, man. Just be careful. I think that there's so much more of an edge during the open and it's way more comfortable and everything comes back to a comfort zone, man. Seriously. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I, um, I don't know. I always have to poop five minutes before the market opens. So, uh, you know, I don't have time to trade (laughs) (laughs) pre-market. Well, I see, I have an alternative there. I just shit my trading diaper when I'm trading. I just combine the two. I just let fear in nature take its course, baby. <laughs> just, you know, it's <laughs> like, I'll need another cup of coffee or I'll need to go, you know, make a bowl of cereal or I'll have to cook breakfast or I'll have to do some. I always got to do something in pre-market. You know, I'm never like here and then just here for the entire i'm not like i don't get to the screens at like 7 a.m and then i just sit here until the market opens like well, I, dude, it's it, joe it's it, like i just don't have the time i have a funny correlation that. man i have a funny correlation of pre-market driving i actually equate it of the analogy of a stick shift car you have to have full focus you cannot be doing other shit as soon for as real. you wake up dude i purposely I always wanted a stick shift car. I actually know how to drive one because my best friend, that's all he's ever owned. And when I got, you know, a couple of my cars, I was like, man, should I get a stick shift? And then I was like, no, dude, I eat while I drive. I'm sipping on shit. I'm talking to my girl, holding hands, whatever it is, dude. I just do like, I can't devote the amount of focus to what's needed for a clutch and or pre-market trade. <laughs> like, dude, for real. Yeah. Like I, I just I can't. definitely not sipping on a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh that's what that's when my driver's driving the car then i said you know i just i just like i i just can't do it props to people that can you know there, there's a million ways to make money in the market and, that, and that's how it works but uh why is srne going still going up What's, why is srne still going up well it's what? probably largely manipulated still going up you mean from I mean, lows today? I mean, it's still yeah, going from, down, bro. I mean, that shit looks like it's crashed. Bro, this is like the burning bus this crash. Is, this is the Superman ride at Six Flags. <laughs> yeah, this is look, done. Look, here's the here's the thing, man. Don't you, when it comes to stocks, especially a multi-day runner or something that's been up for a while, and now it's actually coming down. You have to pull back the forest for the trees, brother. If you're zoomed in to only intraday, you're like, oh, dude, this stock's going up. It's strong. Like, what's going on? No, dude, you got to pull back the, from yesterday, from the day before, from last week. This is actually what seems to be starting backside of the move. Honestly, yeah, this is. Um... I mean, as long as 10 bucks hold. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would be the I mean, support for sure. Here, let me expand upon this. Yeah, I mean, $10 line is very much is very much a level. And so, I mean, as long as 10 bucks hold, you know, maybe it grinds back. But I mean, if I was long anywhere from, you know, like over 10, I'd be a seller. I'd be out. Yeah, I, it's I probably going to get really scared. slow past this point. I'd be scared because here's what I pay attention to on a multi-day runner like this, guys. If it, let's go to the daily chart, sorry. If 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 a day is put in on a major run up, like it's been going up, it's been going up, it's been going up, and then it really has like what I call intraday a death candle, but what looks to be the sign of you know the big first red day and the death candle on the daily, then dude, I don't want to see another day down. Like, I'm not confident in this for a reclaim or dead cat balance or a way to squeeze some new highs. Like, I'm not confident in this after two days of bleed. Like, look where it, like, yeah, no. dude. It's, it's going to get so slow, man. 
it's going to be so slow growing back and, and it's going to be slow probably going down now. Well, I, it, yeah. And at the end of the day, man, look again, we always say it, who cares what the stock wants to do? Play your lines, yeah. play your risk management. Who cares? It's <laughs> coming into all kinds of support. So, I mean, that's it. At 10 bucks, awesome. eight bucks six, six bucks. Yeah, seriously, man. Backside support. <laughs> well, you like I shorted SRN <laughs> this morning. Please forgive me. So again, whoever asked the question, brother, just please have risk management in play. Don't become a bag holder. I don't want to hear that you're long from 18 and you have no plan. That's you play the lines, brother. Play, play your process, play your plan. Yeah. And if you don't have one, it's time to sign up for MIC. And here's how to contact me. Or you're short and you're not taking profits. I mean, or you're getting squeezed. Like, you know, it, it's, you got to have a plan before you're in and you got to have a plan to get out. It's, <laughs> Mama Tay has been in for from 601. I love it. Tay, I hope you pay yourself a little bit though at those highs. She probably sold like 500 shares. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, I sold 500. Yeah, she's like, eh, trimmed it. Trimmed it a little we'll bit. We'll give it another six months and come back to it. <laughs> It'll if be I, at 40. Tay will leave, leave MIC with the shares in her will. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Now, you can have whatever you want. I just call her Amazon shares. Yeah, I just want her Take Amazon the whole position. Portfolio. Take the whole portfolio. Just give me your Amazon shares. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh yeah, SRNE is that is that one test for all company. That's what I, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're planning like seven vaccines, but yeah, it's they got under one seven tests for you know. Yeah, whatever. Just just play the process, play the lines, play your risk management, brother. At the end of the day, I don't care what stocks do. I am here to nail and bail. I am here to show up really quick, do what I do, and then rinse and repeat daily. Uh, oh as- man, look at that chart. Well, I hit this today, Joe, so I hit a couple of them. I actually posted the charts. I can bring up if you guys want, but I hit Joe. What are we talking about? A plus. Where, where's that dude that asked? Bro, what are we, what where's are we that guy about that asked, you know, what, do, we hate shorting things that, you know, why, why do I want to short something that's strong? You know what I mean? Like, why, why do I want to, why do I want to short a strong stock? Like, why would I not want to short something like BMRA? What was that other one I hit? Um, shit, I forgot the name. BMRA and – here, I'm going to look them up. Guys, it, it, again, man, we talk about this every single week, literally every single week. I'll, I'll show it again. I will show you one of my main process every single week again uh, because I want to instill this in your guys' head of what an account builder setup looks like and what our general focus is. But – um, and without getting too into it, I just want you to eyeball this for a second. Um, oh, EYEG. Joe, what do we talk about every single week? Seriously. This setup, right? So yep. hold on. one sec, bro. If you had, I know you're in big cap. So if you didn't see this day, dude, I hit BWAP and covered lows before the tank. So I literally hit like up here. Yep. Bro, what a great move to Cover grab out of both of these. Trading way under VWAP extremely under at least the last hour before the open is it broke view up and never looked back it pushed towards it it got sold off it's opening very 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 far from pre-market highs guys number one very free very far from pre-market highs is number one number two way under view up number three we get a bag holder pop to view up for a short and then if you do what i do i will always scale to the next top um, which, you know, I can line those up, but to go back to the charts, just to show you guys, I'm not making this up. Um, I just scale until I go broke. <laughs> well, that just makes sense. <laughs> there, there's EYEG. And I posted a little bit earlier, my BMRA, because guys, at the end of the day, this is what my process allows. I'm shorting the most broken stocks of the day on pops. I'm not looking to fight IGC right now. It's strong. I don't want to hit strength. I'm not looking to hit, um, you know, Boxel in the morning just because it had a certain type of news. I wasn't interested in shorting this because it had partnership with news with a big name attached. So that's kind of against my no, no short list. But you know, this did just happen to kind of bleed off. But hey, you know, I'd rather miss than take a loss. So I stuck with the two that were super easy for me. And that's all she wrote. 
So with Just IGC and BOXL, I mean, Tosh did exactly what we talk about every single week. He avoided the shit that was chopping around VWAP. And he chose to short the two that were heavily under VWAP that had sharp sell-offs for all of pre-market, shorted the strength, covered the weakness. Like, that's the easiest freaking setup in the world to explain. Joe, if this isn't the number one account builder for a short on day ones outside of Deathline, I just don't know what is, dude. It's like, it's very easy to grasp a concept of because they're so broken down by the open, even, even you know, the, the brokers that are a little bit limited on short locates sometimes have these shorts available because a lot of shorts give up on things like this. They think it's too broken. See, yep. when you, wh- the, the problem is, is a lot of new short bias traders who come in the market think I have to short what's up. I have to short IGC right now because man, it's up. Dude, that's the opposite thinking. You want to take advantage on the short side of weakness. You don't want to be hitting this random and guessing tops. I hope IGC gaps up and goes to five tomorrow. Are the chances of that going to happen? Probably not, but I want that in its potential. You see what I'm saying? Now, yep. obviously, this is not long investment advice. I'm just showing you guys that I have no interest in a short in this. I have an interest in a long in this when it's doing these things. Just know what IGC used to be. IGC was IGC at one time, and then IGC was IGCC on the OTC <laughs> market, and then IGCC became IGC again once they got their shit together and went to financial rehab and then relisted on the actual listed exchanges. So, Yo, tell me, when did they become IGCQ? <laughs> bro, IGC is the company that was based out of the... Um, the daycare, you remember? Uh, I do. Wasn't it the daycare in Maryland or the daycare in somewhere like that? It was like, it was just, re- it was, you mentioned something like that. Daycare. I, I remember you mentioned something like that, bro. That's about it. <laughs> I don't really Dude, remember. Dude, it was, uh, I can't, I know the Twitter, I know there's posts on Twitter somewhere of somebody, of somebody like pointing that out. But IGC, I, you know, I would be interested to see whether they've changed their address um, since then and uh went to a more reputable post office box at the local <laughs> office yeah when, when a company's a po box guys you want to be warned on the long side yeah it was like it was a pile of trash man headquarters are a there PO it is box. there it is holy shit yeah it was this little old white house that was actually a daycare too bro this is aerotine from the big short or uh Wolf there it Wolf is yep when That's it, also a daycare. If you guys see the front little picket fence there, those little kids' toys out front, yeah, that's a daycare as well. <laughs> Jeez. Not only is it, you like know, like taking candy from a baby, <laughs> bro. It's just, it's just astonishing. If you guys, um, who asked about Abus? Because I, I, if I'm being completely honest, dude, I didn't even see this stock or pay attention to it until it was way too late, and I was like, oh shit. So, Cody, I would have liked to say I would have nailed it, VWAP, but brother, I, about an hour until open, I didn't even know this was on radar, honestly. <laughs> so, but again, again, broken under VWAP, hasn't even tested VWAP for the last hour, pushes VWAP, fails miserably. Rocket science? No. <laughs> Aerotine, yeah, there you go. There you go, yep. <laughs> Dude, I heard, a, I heard a really cool... Um, uh, piece of information about that so joe jonah hill was so into that role that martin scorsese was casting for as what was his name donnie he said dude i don't care what you pay me i would do this fucking movie for free dude just give me back end if the movie does really good and obviously knowing it's gonna be a scorsese movie it was a really good movie and really profitable but dude he came in and got paid scale what most actors get dude i think he didn't even clear like 200 grand to be the lead of that with leo and then of course he makes millions on the back end but i just thought that was so cool because that correlates to what we do in trading man i quaaludes i would trade every day for the rest of my life if real money didn't exist dude and all they would allow us to trade is on a simulator and they didn't leave it up to the general public which doesn't even make sense because that's how the market works but my point is is it's the ultimate video game. I'm just looking to trade well every day. I'm not coming in like, I got to make a million dollars, dude. I just want to trade well, man. It's a, it's a career. It's a passion. It's I want to get better at what I do. Does that make sense? Not Jody at Hill all. Was not looking why, why are, what? I'm just kidding. 
Well, Jonah Hill was not looking for a paycheck in that movie. He was so passionate about it. And that's what it's about, man. Yep, I agree. Hell yep. yeah. Joe's like, what the fuck? Joe's what? like, I just come in for the bread and butter, baby. I want the cheese. <laughs> I mean, dude, I've hardly been intraday trading for the last two weeks. I've just been swinging, checking swings and then going away, walking away. Like You're tomorrow, crazy. my son starts virtual school. And so I'm like, oh, dude, Jonah Hill. He said, Nick just said, he, Jonah Hill got 60K for the role, even lower than I thought. Wow. Wow. Dude, now that's dedication to your craft, man. Act well and the profits will fall. <laughs> oh, shit. Jeez. Joe, what's, uh, what's going on over there in uh, Texas, man? What's, what's new? Not a lot, dude. Not a lot. Just uh, chilling. Chilling, man. Getting ready for school and all that stuff. So. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, dude, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna be, man. Seriously. It's like walk. Yeah, I mean, right. I, it. Yeah, it's. It like Tay said. It's hot, 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 hot. I mean, whew. every day you walk outside, dude. It's like, I immediately am. I'm just sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage. <laughs> i'm just immediately just drenched oh my god well it's 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 humid over there man that's why hey guys i'm ready have... to live somewhere with cooler weather i'm tired of this shit laguna beach son laguna beach republican and cold next to the beach man it's amazing <laughs> dude you'll get republican taxes but it's all good beach side man I, how how does it get any better <laughs> it doesn't get any better bro Guys, while the way, by the way, while me and Joe are, you know, definitely kind of giving you guys a bit of a talk show and here to answer your questions, at any point, post any questions you guys have and we will answer. Uh, if you have none, we will tell you what the weather is like in Laguna Beach. But if you have questions, please post them. <laughs> right. <laughs> need yeah, no, I, was thinking, I was thinking of moving somewhere like, like Wyoming, something like that. I'm, I'm a big fan of, of, you know, outdoors and wilderness i love it man Call joe me. do you have an any or an audi i don't know pookie why don't you come find out <laughs> aloha 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 is that how they get down in in hawaii over there brother they need to know that stuff joe's yeah. like, joe's like, like i got the grand crickets. canyon <laughs> joe you're gonna love yosemite and sick oh, yeah yeah it's on the SATs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would an ideal low-hanging fruit set up tomorrow on the IGC look like? IGC? Well, here's the thing. It depends on who you ask. I actually prefer a low-hanging fruit to close around this area, and I'll show you. I'll draw a line. I love the midway mark. I would love a 150 close, man, because then I want to scale the pre like up here near the previous high of day. If it were to close here and kind of just base around, you know, pre-market tomorrow, then these jumps back to these really big tops would be awesome. If this got just absolutely cratered down to like 70 cents, then you might not get a big pop. You might only get a 10 cent or 20 cent pop, but when it closes mid range, or like anything kind of like where VWAP kind of is, you may get a lot, a much bigger pop in the open and, and a lot more meat to come down. So if you ask me, my favorite low hangers are the ones that close mid range. I think everybody's- uh, I really like, like the ones range. that they close right around VWAP and yeah, then they, the they just yep. give it up the next day. Yeah, like a, like a gap down the next day once it closed a VWAP on day one and then it pops in outer lines. Dude, yeah. I'm there. I'm there munching on it like a soup bone i'm telling you yeah so in theory what we're talking about is we're talking about a close somewhere around here like that would be the ideal situation and then tomorrow maybe gap down around 150 push back into 190 and then two and then bada bing bada boom bada bang hit them outer lines I love it, dude. I love it. So guys, when we say we're like, we're always like, oh my God, I hope this thing holds up. That's exactly why is we actually want it to close midway strong or really strong. Because here's the thing. If, the, if IGC closes really strong, like really strong, you have one of two options, man. 
it is, it is, if it closes midway strong, you're going to have a nice um, low hanging fruit. If it closes very strong, we now have the potential for a multi-day runner that turns into a first red day. So again, everything in trading goes down to a mindset. If you limit yourself thinking like, oh man, this didn't close at 80 cents. I can't hit this at 110 tomorrow. Dude, there are literally three different eventualities every single day of how you can hit a low hanger. Like really, if it gaps trying, up on day two, don't be trying to short that shit. Seriously, ser- dude, when if this if this were to gap up to three dollars tomorrow and run in the open, brother, I'm not looking to short that. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the red slam. I'm ra- I, dude. I'm praying it makes it to day three. We get Bow's day three rule in the mix. It goes red, gives everybody a domino effect to sell again. Mindset: What are you prepared? I'm prepared for three different eventualities on IGC. Literally three different ones. And I just laid them all out. So 20 bucks says bow is short right now. <laughs> oh no. When bow goes quiet, I get a little 20 nervous. Bucks. Are you okay? 255, 57, and 58. Bow, you have 16 minutes. And he's going to cover around 240s. Bow, you have 16 minutes, dude. Okay, good. Thank <laughs> God. He's, he's short. He says, I'm fine. He's short. <laughs> thank god <laughs> dude i'm telling you man anytime bow goes silent this is a bow textbook can... bow setup bro late day high of the day break catch the stop losses slam it back down dude i would bet my life he's short <laughs> i would bet it's it i'm i'm just <laughs> it's just yeah, it's too late. Like, if, if this uh-huh. was an hour ago, without fail. But, guys, we have 15 minutes. Yeah, in- Austin, still not seeing a no. Still not seeing a no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I would bet my life. I knew it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, man. <laughs> I knew it. Wow, you are, dude, never stop being you, man. His thought thought process is I agree 1,000% with it. But he's talked about this setup so many times that it's just hard not to see it like, and know that this is where he's going to, this is where he's going to trade it. And death candle and offering. It's just like, bro, it, I know the line on the daily that he's looking at. Like I just did it on my chart. I know what he's seeing. Let's go to 15. Yep, just running out of time. That's it. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. But look at it. Oh, 255, 54, stuffed at 60. It's stuffed at 60. It's stuffing at 60, baby. Look at him. <laughs> cover, cover, cover. <laughs> David. Yeah, unfortunately, man, the time is there's just not enough time in the last agree, hour of the dude. day. You just – ah, oh, shorts – it's tough, man. The last hour of the day, I never recommend. If you do short, guys, you got to go small like what Bow is doing. And this is the beauty of process, man. This is the fucking beauty, dude. If Bow's taking a little stab at this right now, dude, he knows that he may be risking five to $700, which in relative perspective, you know, that's not a lot for Bow. So yep. if you guys are willing to put on maybe 50 shares just to try some out late day, I never recommend shorting late day. But if you do, his process is telling him to go small. If he went big right now, Bow would be totally disobeying his own process. Yep. And then just adding to a loser, adding to a loser. But dude, it's very manageable. Like that's, I'm, I'm actually extremely proud of Bow right now. Like that's extremely manageable. <laughs> yeah. This is like a Steve-O stunt. Do not attempt this at home, folks. <laughs> Jackass. Like, the, dude, I used to love that show, man. Oh my God. I think uh, I I think I found out like recently like even Brad Pitt had like a cameo on one of those. I was like, dude, that's so sick. I gotta see that. I believe it. Fucking guys are crazy, dude. Uh, dude, th- have you ever watched Steve O's thing like where um, on his like personal channel on Facebook, but it's like um, where he talks about all of his experiences in Jackass, dude. It's wild um you guys i gotta check that out man yeah that's pretty interesting do you guys cut your short if your line gets broken with conviction and then look to short higher assuming there's a lot of room between your lines depends Uh, on the time of the day 
for me. And also the overhead. So, you know, if we're speaking about something that looks like IGC, I am not cutting to reattack until a major turn. I'm talking like something like this. You need, yep. a, you need a top. And there's the turn, 247. Oh, my God. There it is. Do it. Freaking, there it is. But but here's the thing, guys. If you're looking at something like, um, God, what was that? Was it BMRA that came back a little bit or was it IG? It was IG, E-Y-E-G. Check this out. I do this a lot, dude. In fact, check this out. Joe, I do this all the time, dude. I will hit it pre-market. This is kind of like one of my tricks. I will hit it pre-market. Cover the <laughs> <Awesome>. low. <laughs> oh, <we're coming> out. <laughs> Joe, check this, dude. I know you probably did this shit back in the day too. I never get greedy on a position anymore, man. If I get the wash I want, which this is all I wanted, I covered in the morning, bro, I will literally go to the outer line after that. I won't hit VWAP again. I won't hit anything until you get to this point. I actually told my tab today, I said, I said, bro, I got to wrap it up. I got some MIC back and stuff I got to do. Once I covered this, I said, it looks like it's kind of gearing towards like a, like a reclaim. I said, 625 is the line you want to start scaling after that. And he did, and he fucking nailed it, dude. I was pissed. Oh, nice. Nice. But the, but the point is, is if a stock is going up, yes, I will hit it. But so just, to, so how do I even say it? I will reshort, but if you're stuck, Say you did some dumbass chasing down here and you cut right here, you need to wait for the outer line. That's what's called line to line. You don't hit here and then just keep adding. So if you were to take a loss here at VWAP, bro, you can't just add this whole move. You got to wait for that outer line. 625 was it. Yep. Well, I mean, a perfect line was, you know, obviously like what seems like 650, but I would have started right here where that, that like little consolidation top was put. That's where I would have started. Are you using mental stops or hard stops? Oh, sorry. Are you using you mental pimp. stops? Look or at hard look stops? at Amen, dude. Real quick, look at this pimp. Oh look yeah, at, this is what I'm oh, talking yeah. about, dude. Dude, fucking nailed it, man. You would have thought he was the tab partner I was talking to on the phone. Amen, awesome job, man. Um, this is exactly the setup that me and Amen talked about in our one-on-one. -on -one. Dude, I love it. E -Y -E -G. And again, guys, never, 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 never leave it up to mental stops. You cannot trust yourself. I don't give a shit who you are. I don't care if you're the Dalai Lama in control of his mind. I don't care if you're Oprah. I don't care who you are. You need to use a hard stop because here's why. It only takes one mental stop where you go a little bit more and 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 then you're dead. It's, dude, I've seen, okay, I'll put it in perspective. I will never say names because I don't air people's dirty laundry out in the public. I used to have a trader buddy who would make anywhere from 20,000 a day, 50,000 a day. He was a player, man. He was a size player. And, and that was never the thing that really impressed me because yeah, you can pull in big numbers, but here's why it didn't impress me. One day, bro, he lost like, I think 700 grand on one stock because he didn't have the, um, the certain risk parameters in check. I loved this dude. He was a wonderful trader, but he didn't respect the hard stop. And one day it just, it really, it beat his ass. And yeah, it's like, it's like you make, you know, 1.2 million in a short period of time. And then all of a sudden you lose 700 grand in the blink of an eye in the span of one trading day. And all of a sudden you're back down to 500 grand and you're like still up 500 grand on the year. But how much less stressful would it have been had to just make, you know, five or 4k a day and make 500 grand at the end of the, at, you know, six months in the thing that's going to make four grand. Me. That's it. Oh, nice bow. Yeah. Nice covers. The thing that's going <laughs> to <laughs> you look stress. Thanks. It's the stress. <laughs> it's the stress. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Guys, the thing at the end of the day that is going to really um, make us respect, <laughs> honestly, is not, look, I don't care if you make 100000 a day, man. I don't. If you're the guy that's swinging for fences, you're down 400000 600000 and then by the end of the day, you're up a hundred. That's crazy cowboy shit, man. Look, I just, you can do that. I don't respect it. I teach and help traders know what's, what's repeatable. 
you can copy what I do. Now I ask that you don't, but you, it's so repeatable and so teachable that you can do what Joe and I and Bao and Alex teach. We're not swinging crazy grand slams, $100,000 P&Ls. And by the way, the stress will fucking kill you, dude. I don't care how much money you make, man. There's no work-life balance there, dude. Oh, no, no, no Rick, it makes your Rick. personal relationships terrible. You know, you're fucking angry all the time. You're stressed out all the time. You know, you're emotional. You're not fun to be around. You're going to be, you know, yeah, you're going to be a very irritable human being. Yeah. And just like Austin said, and you eventually blow up. I yeah. respect the guy that comes in. He knows who he is and he respects his process and guess what dude i respect the guy making 200 dollars a day over the guy that's swinging hundreds of thousands of dollars in pnl i respect the guy making 200 dollars a day wrapping it up losing at most like 300 bucks maybe maybe two 300 bucks and he's green 30 days in a row that trader i respect i respect yeah. that guy that's discipline that's, dis that's i respect discipline strategy you know, that, that's a scalable strategy. I don't respect gambling, bro. I just don't. No. I, I've been a gambler. I know many gamblers. My, my, some of my family members gamblers. It's, it's sick. Dude. It's a sickness, dude. It's a fucking yeah. sickness. It's not a strategy. I respect gambling. process, planning, and discipline. Where's IGC? Uh, it is. Oh, there it is. 258. This thing is strong, man. It's closing really strong. I hope we get a fat gap of tomorrow up to freaking 354. That would be so sick. I don't think it would, but hey, man, anything can happen, right? Let's set up for a first red day, man. I would love to this thing go up to three or four days. I would just love it. Shorts. Watching oh, five minutes, it slams back to two. God, it probably will. <laughs> probably won't, but uh you know that's just the fucking crazy shit that happens like you're like all right i'm covering and then it's like boom fuck <laughs> piss ass <laughs> <laughs> like you're just angry at you're the just world swearing in front of your kids at the computer screen and they yeah. have no idea I why it. i knew it <laughs> good god man <laughs> I, I, i'm not a dad yet joe so i'm like i can only imagine dude what you go through sometimes having like your kids nearby and you're like getting ripped on in a stock and you're just, you just want to scream at the computer, <laughs> but you're like two year olds looking at you and you can't do it, dude. Dude, the other day, the other day, my son spilled, spilled his drink on his lap and he's just, he's sitting in the car and we're like driving. So I forget where we were driving, but he had his cup and he like just fumbled it a little bit and like spilled a little on himself. And he just in the back seat just goes, shit. And I was like, I couldn't help but just laugh. Of course, right? he learned it from you while That's you were getting ripped up. <laughs> I, I just laughed so hard. My wife is like, what did he just say? And I'm just dying. Like, I'm just like losing my mind laughing at this. Oh. I just thought it was comical, man. Uh-oh, I think Faye's ears just perked up. She heard a fight between you and the wife. She's she's getting ready to pounce, dude. <laughs> she, there's weakness. There's a top being set. <laughs> There's a Joe Kelly marriage top. She's going to short the bounce, bro. <laughs> <laughs> was this, uh, I was waiting for a first bounce entry around 110 on IGC, but kept getting halted a few times after 205. After a huge pullback, should we adjust to VWAP instead of VWAP line high initial? If, geez, Mary, mother of God. I, I that was a lot that went on right, right there. Right here in the kind of. Um, I mean. You know, the first bounce is the first bounce for a reason. It, it's it's like, it's the first bounce. It's the one that's obviously going to work most of the time. When it becomes another, we're not looking for a first bounce of another level higher. You know, it's not the first bounce after the first bounce. That would become, you know, the second bounce. Yeah, this is, is more a replay. Fail. This is not a first bounce. This is more like a reclaim. This is more like a, yeah, oh, I agree. Like that's stuck. I well, I think he means after it went parabolic. Oh, oh, oh! You mean like kind of like right here? You were you you already saw this after top, that parabolic move, waiting back down at one ten. Oh, that's a little too far, and because it's yeah, under, I, I look look at the journey. If it would have done that and then just washed out, like if it would have cracked under VWAP after that big parabolic move, I mean, that's where longs get bagged in that situation. That's where shorts start to actually lick their chops. Like that's oh, yeah. time. If you, if you get a long journey pull back to VWAP, sometimes I use VWAP as a coupling factor. And guess what? 150 VWAP, it was kind of that general area. So that's what I would have risked. Maybe 130. Yeah, maybe 130. I would have probably got in around VWAP, which I usually do. Um, oh shit, Joe, we got like one minute. 
Um, guys, oh, really quick, wow. I, I think we should wrap it up here. Me and Joe actually just ran out of time and we didn't even know. Um, here's the thing. Just, just a one second recap. Guys, Monday, 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 live trading event. Val is sharing his Monday. screens. It doesn't get better than that. On the Jumpstart Accelerator course, we have bundle deals right now going on. It is not free included, but I will work with you. Um, Bow and Alex are allowing some major discounts right now. Text boot camp to my special number, uh, my business line right here, 213-458-5997. It is me. It is not a robot. I will absolutely get on the phone with you guys if needed. I'll text you back, whatever that's needed, and we will get you in the club. We'll get you registered with the event. We'll get you started with the jumpstart, whatever you need. I promise you guys, we got your back. This is always so much fun every week. I look forward to this literally every single week. <laughs> yeah. Austin's like Tosh is a robot, except on the weekend mentoring. Um, yeah. Look, dude, again, man, MIC was created to literally help you guys, man. I love you guys, man. Joe, you're awesome. I can't wait for next week. And if you guys got any, you know, learning out of this or joy or anything, I mean, just imagine what it'd be like actually being a member, man, seriously. Uh, to answer Will's question, just real quick, for planning purposes, what is in time for day two on August 18th? Will, I'm just going to I'm just gonna tell you, it's, there is no scheduled time that it's going to end. I would just assume 4 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I w I, here's, what, here's what, we're, what I would say, guys. Assume it's going to end at close, but you never know. Maybe, maybe we have something I, to talk about that we find out <laughs> today. Maybe there's 10 billion runners that we think we can still teach you guys. I don't know, but all <laughs> goes Ends when happy hour opens. <laughs> that is the best answer that could have ever been given. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wait, when does the buffet open at the strip club? That's when it opens, the morning buffet. It ends when Bao finally takes a bathroom break. Oh, shit. All right, guys, this has been fun, man. Joe, till next week, brother. Um, dude, get, I'm telling you, man, take, take the wife, bro. Take the wife and go to Laguna, man. Do it. Just do it, brother. Do it. Just yeah, fuck. Do it. Eventually. All right, see you guys. Later, bro. Later, buddy.